or what's happening my people so last week i started on my episodes of the shy i didn't know if it was going to be a recurring thing but the video did good and a lot of people commented and said keep this going so i'm gonna keep this up so this is episode two season three episode two this is bruford that's the name of this episode i don't know why the name of it was bruford i don't know uh yeah i'm sure y'all probably know or whatever and um, i missed it but uh so this episode starts off keisha gone man keisha she didn't got abducted yeah she ain't ran away she ain't ran away so she got abducted or, or something i'm pretty sure they're gonna touch on that it's gonna probably gonna be a recurring theme of the season they probably gonna be the whole season talk about uh sex trafficking and stuff i'm pretty sure that's where this is going to lead to but we see at the beginning like uh kevin he's uh kind of investigating and he's seeing that something ain't right so the mom the mom is like uh oh keisha where she at and he kind of covering for her because he's gotten her in trouble so many times so he kind of like trying to sit back for a minute and he want to try to do it himself he don't want to like rat her out and be like man she's been gone for days so that's that's kind of why he doesn't off top say anything so but they they know something is up uh Emmett out here front and he's still trying to put on for Brandon and whatever and he's trying to do his catering business so he goes to his, one of his baby mothers she uh uses his services but what he does he goes in his ingenious plan is he pays a bunch of like people to come and deliver the food and so he goes in the back and he gets the food and he just puts it on trays and stuff and he serves it so it's like uh but he thinks that's he thinks that's a genius plan he gets paid and stuff but it's like they could have did that themselves and whatever but he he trying he trying man but uh ronnie is out here we find out that ronnie is homeless and so he's uh picking up cans and stuff going to recycle them they got this lady charlene like she she throwing a cat at ronnie she like uh you need a real woman in your life not hennessy and e and j and all this and stuff like why is she throwing the, the cat at ronnie like i don't know ronnie didn't, didn't have a few little ladies on here he almost had uh he almost had emmett mama and stuff like emmett mama kind of bad like she she too much for ronnie but anyways i'm, I'm gonna keep it going keep it going we see Jake is in his new spot. He's living with Q. And we see like Q is like, he like old school, mad old school, man. Uh, Jake walk in and he got his shoes on and stuff and Q is snapping at him. And we find out that Jake's brother is still alive. And he like, do you want to go stay with your brother? And he like, nah, I don't want to stay with my brother. So we got to find out why they are estranged or whatever. So we find that out a little bit later on. We see Luke James... Uh, his name is Trig on here, I think. Trig, he getting his hair cut. Like, homegirl's cutting his hair. It's it's nothing interesting on here, but just why I'm... Making, she tapering the back of his neck and stuff. And she don't touch nothing else. She don't she don't line him up. She don't, she don't edge up his beard or anything. She don't taper nothing on it. She just taper the back of his neck and line it up. Why? Why? <laughs> but then they get to talking about what he he wants his brother he wants to get his brother back from from q or whatever but he's scared to go talk to his brother so how do you expect to to get your brother cut in custody get the custody of your brother but you're scared to go and meet him but we see they daddy ran away a long time ago he got fired he lost his job they was in cabrini greens and whatever and so Things just went down here with the family, and he ended up leaving for his own sake. And he left his brothers, and so I guess he feels guilty about that, by leaving them. And so he feels abandoned. To me, oh, that's weird, because Luke James, he don't seem like too much older than, uh, like, Jake other brother. Look like Jake other, other brother might have been older than Luke James, like in real life or whatever. So I don't know. I guess they got Luke James, like, an extra old on there. I don't know. He don't look that old. He don't seem that old. Uh, but anyways, that's what happened. He left a while back. And so, Jake and them probably. And it's like, it's like, man, I left Jake. But you left your other brother too. But he like feel guilty about 
leaving Jake, but you didn't feel guilty about leaving the other brother. Like, like yeah, man, I knew he was out here doing dirt or whatever, but I, I, I don't know. But anyways, he, he is back, kind of back. Uh, Emmett's mother was named Jada. So Jada is, she's trying to get a speed dating on. And we see, like, her obstacles or whatever. Like, she kind of put so much of her life into Emmett and her grandbabies and stuff. Like, she don't really know how to do this anymore. Like, she's just, all she's talking about is her grandbabies. And just, it's, it's hard out here on the single scene. And she's been away from the game for a while and stuff. And so she just has a lot of obstacles like self propose like she kind of throwing the obstacles in her own way in that aspect so uh we see Ronnie homeless and whatever I already talked about that uh Jada she goes to Emmett house so she meets up with uh with with uh Emmett baby mama and so she's talking about how speed dating was and she gives uh she gives Emmett, Emmett baby mama some food. So that's going to be the introduction of Lala. Uh, damn, she can cook or whatever. But then she gets a card. Like, you need this. He, he can blow your back out and whatever. That's what you need. So we see that later on. But uh, Emmett, Emmett ends up getting a little bit of this food and whatever. So that's going to get his, his, his wheels turning. But we, I want to see how that messes messes with his relationship and stuff i want to see if they keep it all the way professional or what because i don't know it seems like they have like a little chemistry i'll get into that later or whatever but i, I don't know i want i want to see how that does because like his baby mom is the one put him on to her with the food and, and whatever but i wonder if lala is gonna be like a, another hurdle in his his stuff but uh, i'm trying to stay online online with the stuff so Luke James, we see him here at a bar, and I'm looking like they have somebody singing on stage, and I'm like, I'm looking at him, I'm like, they look kind of, they look kind of butchy or something. I'm like, that's a dude. And so then you look around, it's a gay bar and stuff, and I'm like, Luke James, why did he? I know he said he want the, his home girl, his uh, his girlfriend wanted to wanted them to go out. So I'm like, I'm like, wait up, he ditched her and he went to a gay bar. And so a, a gay dude goes run up on me like, I ain't gay, I ain't gay. And then his girlfriend comes out of the bathroom or whatever. And she like, uh, you need to apologize or whatever. And so he takes off. And she like, I want to be around my people. And I'm like, oh, I never would have thought. Like, I didn't pay it no mind. I'm just like, that was a girlfriend. But I'm like, oh, so he's in love with a transsexual woman. So his woman is transsexual. I'm like, that's another Lena Waithe is the uh is the writer of the show and whatever you know she's a lesbian or whatever so I know they're trying to talk for everybody in the LGBTQ plus community or whatever so I'm like they trying to introduce a lot of different aspects about sexuality and stuff so I'm not gonna knock it that's her platform like I don't necessarily need that on but I'm I'm, I'm gonna enjoy the show I'm I'm not tripping I'm not tripping. I don't don't attack me or whatever. I'm just saying. Yeah, but anyways, so is it, I guess they just want to touch on that, like uh, how somebody can be like kind of is it's kind of like a, a racist. So like you could you see like in society they have a lot of uh especially right now I see a lot of people with like black mixed babies and stuff, but they hate black people. Like on social media, they be all for Trump and hating on black people, but you got black babies. So I guess it's kind of like the same thing. You can, you can kind of like hate gay people and stuff and not see yourself as gay, but you can be in love with like a transsexual woman or you can be dipping down low. They have a lot of brothers like that and they might dip low and, and do their side things, but don't see themselves as that. So I guess it is an interesting topic to, to touch on or whatever. So, it's another dynamic. Uh, Emmy finally meets up with, with Lala. So I talked about that earlier. He goes to her house and she he like, damn, so you you a uh, homegirl? And so she like, let me see your piece. If you Emmett, I know you, they say you a legend around here. You got a third leg and all this. So he put like, thing. I'm like, oh, I'm like, they about to, he about to mess up his situation at home. But they don't do nothing. She go in the kitchen. She cook for him. Now, a, a part of the episode. Now, I got to touch on this. I got to touch on this. 
Now she like, oh, you used to work with Brandon. He like, yeah, man, rest in peace or whatever. And she like, that nigga wasn't shit. I'm like, oh, nah, 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 nah. Lena Waithe and them, they did wrong for that. They did wrong. Like, I know Jason Mitchell and stuff. He done did his dirt. And he made his bed hard to lay in or whatever he got to lay in that. But Brandon on the show, they did not have to do that, brother. That. You're going to say Brandon wasn't shit. Brandon was the best brother on the show. Brandon was, was doing for Kevin. He was doing for his family. He was trying to do the right thing. They did wrong for that. They are dead wrong. They didn't have to do that. They did not have to do that. I'm I'm very upset. With, that's petty. That's petty right there. They didn't have to do that. I'm I'm very upset with that. Uh, but anyways, so she look like she got her stuff going on. Like she uh, but she she a hustler. She all about her bread. She like uh, every everything in here costs, even me. So they they get into it. It's like, but. She's doing it like underground, like the health department can shut her down or whatever. So Brandon gives her, uh, not Brandon, Emmett gives her a little more legitimacy. So they can actually do it legally and go to the, the food truck route and cater like legally rather than in her kitchen because they can shut her down and she can't get in trouble for that. So that's where they're going to have their little meeting of minds or whatever. Uh... Jake finally meets his brother. His brother goes meet him and stuff. And he like, uh, you see their their relationship and the they like, man, look, if you don't want me to uh be around, I'll leave. And and Jake like, nah, you good, you good, but I don't know about going to live with you. When Jake finds out about like his brother in their the relationship with the his uh lady friend or whatever, I that's gonna be funny topic. Like I I think Jake is gonna kind of trip out about that. Jake. I don't know. That's that's gonna be be funny dynamic. Uh, Emmett, Emmett, mama. So she she uses the card. The masseuse comes. Yeah, Emmett, mama, fine. I ain't gonna lie. Man. She she bad. Yo, he he was massaging her. That old booty was poking up. But anyways, so they massaging her. She turn around. I'm like, that's straight out of porno. That's porno right there. And so they get it in. Homeboy, oh, you ain't, I'll give you a discount. He, he like, damn, you put it on me. So they meet outside, like, he, like homeboy's leaving out with his massage table, Emmett, Emmett season. Uh, that they went to school together. And it's like, yeah, man, I just went put in work and doing this, and I get perks of the job. And he like, damn, you living the dream. Yeah, I was on the second floor, had to put in it. Wait up, my mama's still on this. And he chased him off. Nigga, you better not. That was, that was funny and messed up. That was very messed up right there. Uh, Dre goes to the to the slums or whatever. They tracking the phone, to tracking Keisha's phone, and they end up in the slums where Ronnie is at with the homeless people. And Ronnie ends up saying, "Yeah, I did see a couple days ago." And they find the phone, and Dre is like, "If you had anything to do with this, I'm gonna come back myself and kill you." So, Ronnie, this is where he's going to try to, he's going to insert himself into the season and try to find redemption. Because he's staying with the homeless people and it's like, he's, he feel like that's where he needs to be. Like, because he's did a lot of dirt. He has a lot to attest for. He's lost. So, he's going to try to find redemption by finding this girl. I think that's what's going to happen. And at the end of the episode, we see, we see Kevin and them. They're going to the, uh, her boyfriend's house. And I like Papa. Papa like, man, y'all know I can't fight. If they got a pit, I'm gone. Like, Papa is funny. But they end up going to, to the house, knocking on the door. Doom, 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 doom. Homeboy comes straight out. Look, look, nigga, you, where my sister? Hey, look, look, nigga, you have to get off, off my put. You think I'm scared? Hey, Kevin got heart. Kevin got heart. So we all gravitated to Brandon all these years and stuff. Now Kevin is starting to come into his own. Then we're going to start gravitating towards Kevin. Like he's growing into a little man. Like he showed a lot of nuts right there. He's like, I'm not leaving without my sister. So I want to see what happened with that. Uh, I'm doing this early. I would have liked to watch this later on in the afternoon or whatever. Like whenever it drops. But I want to have this uploaded for everybody to see. But uh, it's, it's kind of funny with this situation. Because I'm like. Did the boyfriend have something to do with this? Did he set her up? Or is it going to be something else? We'll see. We'll see. I, I don't have, I didn't see the, the uh, preview for next episode. So I'm not, 
I'm probably going to be lost. I'm probably, y'all might see with this episode. Man, they show it on the previews, but I haven't seen the previews for episode three. But, uh, yeah, so I want to see what happens with that, man. And I want to see with Emmett, Emmett, uh, with his cooking and, and what that does. If him and La La kind of, that messes him up in the stuff. But this is another good episode, man. I really enjoyed this. Uh, Luke James, he's a good character and stuff. That little, that dynamic coming up is, uh, I'm not touching on that. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest and the most hated man. Highlight your boy. Lean away. Y'all ain't had to do that to Brandon. Peace out.